Hello, Lows. My name is Yuli, and I'm with Yuli's Boutique. And I wanted to speak to individuals who are interested in starting their very own online boutique. And that may be an online shop that offers clothing. Maybe you offer shoes. Maybe you offer jewelry. Maybe you offer candles, soaps, whatever your niche may be. You're interested in starting your very own boutique online or your very own store online. So how do you get started? Well, your first step is to think about your vision, to think about what it is that you want to evoke in your potential customers. So what is it about your brand that you really want to resonate with people? So you want to really think about that and get that etched in stone in your mind. What is it that you want to resonate and keep that as your basis for your brand? Okay. So next, you want to work on money. Now, we hate talking about money, but nothing can be done without money, right? So how will you make your money in your store? What will you do? What's your business model? Well, are you doing consignment sales? That's one way to make money. Are you doing reselling? Are you doing resourcing? Are you making your own items? These are all different ways that you make money in your shop. Now, knowing your business model and knowing how you'll obtain your products will make a difference. This will help you in predicting what your sales flow is going to look like and what your financial margin will be and how much cash you'll need for the first nine to 12 months. Now, for those first nine to 12 months, you have to have enough money to sustain you because during that time, you're learning what your customers want from you. You don't know them yet and they don't know you yet. You're learning, okay, what do they want from me? So you need enough money to sustain you during that time. Now, also when it comes to buying things during this time, when it comes to those first nine to 12 months, when it comes to buying inventory, when it comes to having sales, when it comes to bringing in vendors, you wanna keep your eye on the very low minimum. Don't overspend during this time because you don't know what your potential customers want yet. You're still in the learning stage. So keep things as simple as possible, as minimal as possible so that you suffer the least amount of loss. Because if you learn during those first nine to 12 months that your customers like something totally different and you have to do a 180, it's, least, it's, a, it's a smaller loss. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> now, marketing. Before your launch day, you need to start working on marketing and advertising. Don't wait to the data up. Do this before. If there are individuals that will be assisting you with marketing, get them on board. Get them, get them set up. And you might not like social media, but unfortunately, we live in a world where if you are running a business, you have to have a social media page. You have to have a social media presence. Even if you are not the one running that page, you can have someone else running it. Um, actually, some companies actually hire young people just to run their social media page. But you have to have a social media presence. So this is the time now to claim your pages, claim your name before someone else does. Um, all of the social media networks now cater to businesses. Um, TikTok has TikTok business now. And they have so many features available for small business. Instagram, you know, has Instagram business. Facebook has Facebook business. Um, Pinterest has Pinterest business. All of these social media networks are now um, targeting businesses because they know that's where the money is. And they give you special features to help your business, to help you sell right there on the social network platform. So I would reach out there because that's free marketing and free advertising, but I would get that started sooner than later. So you, that's something you want to do. Now, you also want to take a look at your location. You're online, so you don't have to worry, worry about a brick and mortar location, but you do need a platform. You need a website platform. And there are many platforms available. I would strongly suggest that you research a number of them to find out the one that has the abilities that you're searching for and also has the right price that you're searching for. Um, some platforms provide you with email marketing, um, tax calculations, um, customer receipts. Um, some will send you um, 1099s at the end of the year. 
Um, some of them, they do so much. They have some really, really wonderful platforms out there. But you will have to do the personal research with that to find the one that's right for you. I have a favorite one in my head, but I won't bias anyone. <laughs> but if you know me personally, you know which one that is. <laughs> so you have to find the one that's right for your particular business. Um, but that's just a few things. There's so much more that goes into getting a small business started. So this is just part one, okay? So in part two, we will discuss the paperwork. <laughs> the paperwork that you need to take care of in advance before your launch date. So this is part one. Prepare for part two. Until then, loves, we'll see you again. Bye.